Warning, this is a hunting video to share the experience with like-minded people and animals will be harvested. Do not watch if likely offended. I didn't expect to see him. start this video I want to thank the two gentlemen that came out and helped us drag this deer out of the woods because without them that deer would have still been sitting there anyway thanks a lot guys you know who you are we're very very appreciative we're sitting in the blind let's see how well my back holds out weather's good change we've got a cool spell it's only about 21 or 23 today so hopefully it cools down it's around five o'clock uh, we have been seeing the deer Sometimes around 7-ish. Sunset is at 20 to 8. Best of luck to us, I guess. We'll talk to you in a bit. We'll let you know how. As Greg and I settled into the blind, we look out over the area and our volunteer corn crop is quite evident. And we sit and patiently wait for the deer to show up. At approximately 7.20, Greg identifies something coming down the trail. Unfortunately, I can't see down that trail from where I'm sitting, so you're looking at exactly what I got to see. The animal proceeded down the trail, stopping every now and then to do whatever deer do when they stop. And then the animal got close enough for Greg to identify. It's a buck. It's a buck. The microphone on the camera just didn't pick that up. I wish it would have. Anyway, the animal starts coming towards us, clearer into view for Greg, but not for me, and stops and sniffs a twig and then rubs its antlers on a twig. And finally... The animal starts coming a little closer and a little closer. And eventually, it comes into view where the camera and I can see the buck. Greg was so excited. I've never seen Greg this excited. And it was actually great to see because... He was in so much pain for this last while. It was just wonderful to see him all excited.
At this point, Greg puts out his bow and sticks his head out the blind window to see where the deer has run off to. He carefully watches to see where the deer went. And then we celebrate. Well, I didn't expect to see him. I just put a shot on a, on a nice buck. But uh, shot looked a little high. It was in the shoulder. It was in the vitals. I watched him run. But he kept going. He's down in the bush. But there's not much light left. So okay. hopefully we can find him. I can't really help with the tracking because my back is such a mess. And I don't okay. think Jason's seen exactly where he went, but I'll try to walk up with him as far as I can. I know the bolt was still sticking out of him. That's not good, but I, I think I, I hit him right in the shoulder. So anyways, fingers crossed that he's down. We'll let you know. I come out of the blind to look for blood or any other sign of this deer. And while my back is turned, Greg has hobbled out of the blind and up the trail and actually finds the deer. The deer ran about 25 or so yards and turned into where I had lost that buck last year. Luckily, he passed just on the edge of the thick stuff in a little gully and was quite easy to find even though there was no blood trail. Greg had seen where he went in and he was literally right there. This is the first ever velvet buck for Greg and for that matter the two old guys. If you are thinking that this bolt looks a little strange, come back next week and I will explain what we think happened because its flight and its position in the deer were not where Greg was aiming. We were really hoping to make a thousand subscribers before the end of this deer season. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll get notified of our upcoming videos. Next week's video is going to be very interesting. Give us a like, share our videos with your friends. It'll help us out a lot. Thanks for watching this week's video. We really appreciate all of you and all your views. Check us out on Rumble. We have something exciting happening over there. I'll put a link in the description below. Have a good one and we'll see you next week.